Hello, my dear students. Uh, let us study design of a sequence generator. Now, sequence generator can be designed by using using flip flops, counters, or shift registers. Now, uh, for the design of the sequence generator, what needs to be done is uh, we are going to just design this combinational logic circuit. It is also called as next state decoder circuit. Let us take one example. Design a sequence generator to generate a sequence 1011 using D flip flop. Now let us see which are the steps required. Step number 1 is find out number of flip flops required. You can use this formula capital N should be less than or equal to 2 raised to small n minus 1. Here capital N is maximum of number of 1s and number of zeros from the given sequence. And small n is number of flip flops required. Then step number 2 is write present states, next states and excitation table of given flip flop. Step number 3 is write the k-map for the inputs of the flip flops. And last step is draw the logic diagram from the boolean expressions uh, that you got from the step number 3. Let us actually design this now. Now in this uh, given example, let us find out number of flip flops. Now first find out number of 1s in the sequence. So in this sequence, number of 1s are 3, then number of zeros are 1. So in between these two, maximum number is 3, means capital N is equal to 3. Now find out small n value from this formula. Uh, here you can put n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let us first put n is equal to 1 here. So if you put n is equal to 1, it will become 2 raised to 1 minus 1. That is 2 raised to 0. Now any number raised to 0 will be equal to 1. Means it will become as 3 less than or equal to 1. Which does not hold 2. Next, let us put n is equal to 2. So if you put n is equal to 2, it will become 2 raised to 2 minus 1. That is 2 raised to 1. Means it will be. 3 is less than or equal to 2. Again, it does not hold true. So, move ahead. n is equal to 3. So, 2 raised to 3 minus 1. It will be 2 raised to 2. And if it is 2 raised to 2, it will be 4. Means 3 less than or equal to 4. It holds true now. Means number of flip flops required are n is equal to 3. Next, second step is write down present states and next states for the flip flop now here whatever the sequence is uh, given to us for the generation that 1011 we have to write under the QA 1011 the sequence we have to uh, generate now as three flip flops are required you write down the present states for three flip flops QA, QB and QC Next, we are going to write down the next states for the three flip flops. Now, write down the given sequence here under QA. And whatever the remaining two bits are there. Now, what you have to do? You can write any combinations of two bits. You can write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay. Uh, one thing you have to, uh, you have to remember while writing down the combinations of these two bits is that the numbers whatever the number digit decimal number you will be getting here that should not be repeated okay so let us put first 0 0 here so it will become 1 0 0 that is 4 then I have put 0 1 so it became 0 0 1 that is decimal 1 then here I have put 1 0 so 110 is decimal 6 and then I have put 11 then it is 111 so it is decimal 7. So while writing down these combinations you can write any combinations not necessary ki those should be in sequence but remember that the decimal numbers must not be repeated. So the sequence came as 4 to 1 to 6 to 7 and it will go on repeating. Now. Uh, whatever the remaining combinations of QA, QB, QC has three uh, 
uh, bits or three outputs we are having there are eight combinations are possible zero to seven but we have written only four combinations whatever the remaining combinations are there for that everything further is don't care okay so whatever is the required thing that much we have written here now let us uh, let us draw its state diagram okay so first this is four then one then six and then seven means i have drawn the state diagram here four after that i should get one then i should get six i should get seven four and same thing must be repeated this is the state diagram for required output okay so let us write down the next state table next states so if the present state is one zero zero what should be next state it should be one that is zero zero one so for this present state next state should be zero zero one okay now if present state is zero zero one so if present state is zero zero one what should be next state it should be six that is one one zero then for one one zero if one one zero is the present state next state should be 7 that is 1 1 1 then if present state is 1 1 1 that is 7 next state should be 4 that is 1 0 0 so these are your next states next you have to write down the excitation table for the inputs of the deep leap flop now we know uh, excitation table of the uh, of the deep leap flop is d is equal to its next state output so d is equal to its next state output so for writing down da you write down next state of qa as it is for writing down db write down next state of qb as it is and for dc write down next state of dc as it is okay and next step is to write down the k maps for d so i have already written these K maps for the D. I will explain how I have written this. See from this two tables. Now, uh, for writing down the K maps, we are taking QA, QB, QC, that is present states, and we will first write down the K map for DA. Okay, so first cell is 000, but 000 is not present here for that. We have to write don't care. The next cell is 001. 001. So yes, 001. Second row is there. For this, DA is 1. So I have put DA here. 1 here. In this way, you can write the K map for the DA. And now two uh, quads you can form here. First quad and second quad. And its equation is qb plus qa bar okay in this fashion write down k map for db find out its boolean equation k map for dc find out its boolean equation and now these are the boolean equations i have found out okay now last step is fourth step is draw a circuit from the obtained boolean equations so as we uh, require three flip flops, first draw three flip flops along uh, along with the synchronous clock. And now we have we are going to draw the combinational logic circuit from the Boolean equations. Now DA that is what input we have to connect to the first flip flop is QB plus QA bar. So let us draw that. It's QB plus QA bar. So this is my QA bar. Addition of these two means we have to use one OR gate. This is my DA. Then what is DB? DB is QA bar plus QB into QC. So, it is the ending of QB and QC bar. It is the ending of, this is QB and QC bar. Okay. 
first and these two together and then it is added with QA bar it is added with QA bar and this output is connected to DB and next DC DC we have obtained as QC bar so QC bar this is QC bar same QC bar is connected or I can take from this side also as a DC okay so this is the my this is my last or final design of the given sequence generator now where we will get the sequence the sequence we will get at output of QA if we connect this QA at the output we will get its sequence as 1 0 1 1 and it will go on repeating okay so this is all about how to design a sequence generator by using a flip flop or we can say that by using a counter circuit in next lecture uh, we will study design of a sequence generator by using shift register until then bye and thanks a lot